Hello YouTube and welcome to my let's play of Remnant from the Ashes. Um, I played a bit of this series and it was extremely difficult. It basically whooped my butt. But I found a mod that makes it a bit easier and I'll talk about that more at the end of the video but uh here's hoping that now we can see a bit more of the game because I actually like the game it was just really hard to play so <laughs> dog barking of course he's gonna start barking now um so let's just get into it and see how much of a difference this uh mod makes and uh yeah let's start uh let's create a character I wonder what this is uh, the last time I played, I played as a female character, so this time I'll play as a male character. This could be useful. Oh. Head. Mm. Actually, no. I'd rather see a female character What's than a cutscene. What's this doing scenes. here? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. Um, change her eye colors. Green. I actually want red. Match her fiery here. Voice. Huh. What's this doing here? This looks like it was. A this looks like it could be useful. This looks like it was important once. This could be useful. I wonder what this is. This looks like it was important once. Uh, this one is a bit softer. I this wonder. More... I wonder what this is. I like this one better. Standard difficulty. Okay, game mode standard difficulty normal. What's the difference between the game? Heck no. Difficulty normal. Yeah. Why is there a game mode and a difficulty mode? I mean, so wait. You could have difficulty normal and hard, standard and hardcore. No. We're gonna go with standard and normal. Because, uh, like I said, I played this game by myself. I played it with my brothers and made it a bit further, but this game gave us the business. All right, so let's start. It didn't ask me to name my character. I guess that's fine. Uh, let's go. All right. Uh, friends only. Maybe my brothers might come and help me later on. Maybe, maybe not. Let's -a go. What can we do when our last hope fails? That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm, the beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. Your journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower, learn what became of our warrior, face what lurks within. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. This is the one thing she don't have on the water. So, the reference, the dragon's tower, the dragon's not there. I believe that's referring to part one, which is originally a VR game. I probably would be playing that next on the channel. Give that a shot. Carnival after completing the tutorial, okay. in the world or purchased from merchants. Subable will automatically be equipped once picked up if there are no other consumables in the inventory. Okay. I know in this game a lot of the wood structures can be broken by the sword. Press 1 to restore health. Why not? seconds actually so right now potion is restoring half my health looks like in case you're wondering why you're not seeing like my health bar and stuff or the compass it's because I'm actually playing this. Now what? Yeah. Oh, get it. I'm actually playing this game at uh, 32 by 9, but I'm recording 21 by 9. So my compass. Whoa! That's the reason why you can't see my compass or my uh, my health stuff. Because I have to go this way. at the other one to throw. So that's the way to dodge. Not focus on the one you're attacking, but focus on the 
other enemies so you know when to dodge his attack because he is going to attack him. Which is kind of good, but at the same time makes the game so much harder. It's typically enemies to wait. Typically, enemies wait to attack you with turns, but in this game, while you're facing one enemy, the others attack from the front. Which is probably why it's so difficult. How come the other guy died from that tax, but you're somehow surviving? You're awake. Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? I'm Wallace. I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. See this dead? No. Okay. Uh, how did I get oh, here? Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. Was that Mark outside? He's... Was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll see you later. Yeah, work or a survivor. Or a fighter. Um, what I find weird is um, you get to pick a character's voice, but their lines aren't voiced. Seems like a kind of shortcut if you ask me <laughs> journal what is that right mouse I'll let you guys read this. You can pause it. There's a lot of text in this game. And not just simple one or two pages. It's kind of like um, Skyrim. It's quite a bit.
pile. Hmm. Yep, I just straight up punched that desk. So, full disclosure, I have a mod in this game that makes the game easier. And one of the ways it makes the game easier, it gives you, um, I think, double the amount of ammo. So you're not starved for ammo. Well, well, look who's awake. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. Just trying to help your boy. Uh, who are you? I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there, or we'll let the root have you. I'm tempted to say I don't need to tell you anything. But I'm going to be nice and say I'm trying to get to the island tower across the hmm. water. No one has been in that tower in a very long time. But you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But, now that you're here... I have an idea. I'll tell you what. You want to leave? You'll have to do something for us first. Naturally. Okay. What can I do? First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. And where's the reactor? The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. Seems easy enough. <laughs> Nothing around here is easy. Watch your back. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs. About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. You do this for us. And I'll make sure you get out of here. Tip for tat, huh? Alright. Fine. You got anything good back here? Ooh. You have a nice desk. Or trunk. Not anymore. Uh. E to pick up. Anything else? Huh. All right. Okay. Are you the guy I need to see about my weapon? Look like it. Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. Yeah, well, I feel awful. <laughs> uh, did you help me? I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Riggler. <laughs> Most yeah, everyone tell by your name me Riggs. Well, your, uh, sword mm. was pretty banged up in the fight. Not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. Think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. Hey, nice armor. Can I get it? Hey. 
You lost? Okay. I had a two to no problem. Look, more unexpected suspect in boxes. <laughs> I am a brown belt. Uh, <laughs> Good to see a new face around here. Hey, friend. The actors just through that door and down the stairs. Keep your wits about you. My mission is to find a reactor on base, lo base lower level. Box shall survive. Uh, the reactor is on B one. Okay. Now I'm noticing a bit of screen tearing. Let me see if I can, uh, uh, where would that be? System? Gameplay? No. Video. Right. As I said, I'm playing at 51, 20 by 14, 40, which is 32 by 9. Motion blur is turned off. V-Sync. I need to turn that on. V-Sync 60. Alright, all my settings are at ultra, but I turned off motion blur, so... Here we go. B for back button is weird. Um, yep. Let's do this. scaring me off. What? Where the hell did you come from? You nearly scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterill? You? I'm looking for the reactor. Is that right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? Nope. Well, it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky for you, it's just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but... Without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. So, how about I have an idea? You go start the reactor, and I'll help you kill. Uh. Okay, so select your R side. The Hunter. Specialized in long range precision based combat. Armed ultra precise hunting rifle. Uh, dear my Hunter's Mark. Mark enemies allow a hunter to and their teammates to see targets through walls. Yeah, that's good and all, but I think I'd rather this one. X Cultist. Specialized in mid range combat and support. Armed with a powerful coach gun, sturdy repeater pistol, the deadly scrapper, scrap hatchet. The ex cultists control the mid range with excellent burst damage. Their mod, Mender's Aura, casts an area heal that restores health for all teammates. This is going to be my type, because I need. As much health as I can get in this game. And then the scrapper. The scrapper specializes in close range combat, armed with a devastating shotgun, sturdy repeater pistol, and massive scrap hammer. I'm not much of a hammer fan. Oopsie. No. The scrapper is at its best going toe to toe with their enemies. Their mod hotshot imbues the ammunition with fire, giving them a chance to set enemies aflame. That's a good. That's actually a great mod. 
But in my case, I need the health. So, this would be me. There, that should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. Train menu. Gotta repeat a pistol. Oach gun. And a scrap hatchet. Okay. And endurance and spirit. So, I think for the most part. Get up there and start the be... reactor. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright. How much points do I have? Zero. Okay. okay. Um. Told you. Can't leave boxes behind. Wants me to go start a reactor. Refer to operation protocols. Spacebar to continue. Initialize reactor. View folks. Log run system test. I'm gonna run the test first. Great. Looks like we're good to go. Got this. Hear that sound, that means somebody's strong. Just choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. I'll come visit your shop. Good in a fight discount. 
That's a wonderful discount to have. Great work with the reactor, friend. You make a good team. Yeah, we did. Gotta admit, we did. Anything else? Real quick. Oh. Alright, let's get out of here. Take a hit though. Um, how do I use my trait? some light around here dude where's your leg you're risking a lot for folks you don't know stranger my mission is more important than the risk uh, yes you're trying to get yourself to that little island yeah word moves How'd fast you know? when there ain't many words left around here listen friend uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? I don't know about saving the world, but I'll try. That's the spirit. Uh, here, I want you to have this. Not many people can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old try friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay at least for a while and if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels come see me ace has got her own space over there <laughs> between us we got all sorts of treasures with that stone there free of charge take good care of it hmm. thanks for your help old man oh, one more thing ellen uh, <laughs> commander ford she knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. <laughs> Good to see a new face around here. The drag dragon's heart can be used to replenish lost health. There is a limited number of use before its power is depleted. Dragon heart charge are replenished after resting at a checkpoint or dying. Press Q to use the dragon heart. Oh, okay. traveler. That's it. Been a while since I was in a fight like that. Great work with the reactor, friend. You make a good team. Great work with the reactor, friend. You make a good team. Oh my guy's not there. Um So you're the stray Ford was talking about. Really? They talking about me already? What did the uh Ford say? Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. Are you always this friendly? It's the apocalypse. I can be as grumpy as I damn well please. Tch. Let's see what we're dealing with here. This'll help keep you on your feet. Along with anyone else fool enough to join you. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. 
Yeah, Thanks. yeah. Weapon mod used to augment the power of your ranged weapon. It's equipped with a weapon generate mod. When equipped, a weapon generates mod power by inflicting damage on enemies. When the power meter is full, press F to activate the mod. Cool. Some weapon mods activate immediately, others activate an alternate fire mode for the weapon, allowing you to shoot powerful projectiles with devastating effect. Weapon mods can be equipped by going into the inventory screen, selecting range weapon and hitting X to equip a weapon mod for that weapon. Inventory? Okay. Looks like mine is already equipped. Unless I have another one. Nope. I don't. Okay, so this weapon wants create a 2.3 meter healing pool and regenerate 10 health per second lasts for 10 seconds so that's a hundred how much is my total health right now uh, nearly damage reduction uh, my health is 102 so it can so refill me to full by staying there all 10 seconds. Hey friend, ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city as a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Rigs can upgrade your guns and armor material found in war by defeating enemies. Upgrading the guns and armor are essential to keeping up with increasingly difficult game. Oh, tell me about it. Alright, so. Iron. I have eight, and it takes four iron for this, so. I'll upgrade this. Great defense. Good. What about my armor? I don't have any. All right. Hey, now that's better. Oh, and uh, take this. It's not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. Oh. Gotcha. Can you even spare supplies? I guess Ford's ordering me around isn't all that bad. No, can you it's true. spare supplies? It's I don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. I bet Ford will see you fit to leave now. Here's hoping there's not an army of Deadwood waiting for you out there. I appreciate that. That that's that's nice of you. Appreciate that. All right, let's go see this Ford lady. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I Ray hope tracing. this will be enough to get you on your way. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. <sighs> he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. Uh, he thinks I have and a destiny. I imagine he said I could help you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. 
Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. And if it blows us all to well, hell? here's hoping it doesn't. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, nope, this way's out. Down this way. There are people down there you can talk to, but they don't really tell you anything other than what sorry state they're in. System lock enabled. Oops. Any key to continue? I hit a key. If I'm understanding this, there is no way off the island. I, I read about it, but I never saw it working. This red eye might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. Mentioned the founder. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there searching. And one day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. Do you think he's still alive? He knew the outside world better than anyone here. It's easier to think he's dead. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck. Okay, so story recap. I tried to get to the tower. The session is now joinable, great. I tried to get to the tower, but for some unknown reason, a typhoon came and swallowed me. So which means I'm trapped on this island because it's protected by the waters. Uh, protected or made hostile by the waters or captures, whatever. So these people were here Ward 13 been here forever her grandfather who was a commander of this place used to go out I'm not sure if he went out through this crystal or out through another way but he went out and hasn't come back since then these people been here the problem was power went out during the last storm and I showed up and 
restored power, so they're somehow grateful for, to me, like if they don't know how to restore the power themselves. But anyhow, gives me an excuse to get free weapons and free clothing to help me on my journey. And since the waters are protecting the island, any escape off the island, the only way in and out is through this crystal. So, uh, she mentioned if I go to some room, once I go through the crystal, I'll find the notes of her grandfather. So let's go check that out. Nice particle effects. Survival mode is now available. Be accessed from the world stone. Yeah, no, thank you. Travel. Founder's hideout. Yes. Uh, hopefully we can make sense of this story as we go along. Um, it supposedly has a really good story, but the game was so hard, I could not make it past the first boss. And I'm sure there are others like me. I mean, there are others that got past it, no problem, but I'm in it for the story. The gunplay is really good, too. So it was kind of a shame that, you know, my previous attempts were cut short by one particular enemy. Uh, but here's hoping that that all changes. Uh, I'm dying. No two ways about it. Although the root would get me or I'd live forever like you, but I can't. But we can't all be heroes. You're the only person in the world who thinks he can stop the root. You know that? The rest of us just trying to live our lives best we can. Me and Ellen have had to do it without you. I ain't gonna tell you to stop. Not again. Just don't think you're sacrificing for us. We sacrifice enough. Always your daughter, Nadine. Nadine, me and Ellen. So, his daughter name is Nadine. And Ellen, Ellen is the granddaughter, which is the lady I met. Okay. So she's saying, you know, you're not doing it for us, you know. Oh, don't say that you're doing it for us. You know, they sacrificed enough. Tonic and Ward 13 key card. Okay, so, um. Liquid escape. When consumed, the hero will be returned to the last activation checkpoint. Ward left this on the hideout. On a server, you must not have trusted anyone in the ward with it. When Ford found in the ward, he buried secrets in its walls. Maybe he meant them to feed the light, bury things, and have a funny habit of coming back. That the only character that's me inventory says my defense is a bit lacking. Need to work on that. Found the Ford hideout. Red crystal couldn't make couldn't take me to the Atoll. But it did get me to the hideout, Commander's Ford Grant. Order, one of War 13 founders. Four said his grandfather devoted his life to stopping the root. Maybe he has some answers. Okay. This guy, this is one of the roots. 
its leg is literally rude, like a tripod. What is the labyrinth? The labyrinth, Mark 1. Purple teleporter, orange teleporter, red teleporter, and the door. Uh, purple tele to wasteland and forest. So, wasteland and forest to orange and red. Look like the orange lead to red. Massive tower appears at certain location and ent entrance to the dimension. The old church. Okay. I guess all this will make sense later on. Uh. Dark Souls roll. Oh. oh boy, here we go again. Rifter's overcoat. Press C for equipment. Drifter's trousers. Hmm. Though the focus increase weapon mod duration. Mod power is generated slowly over time. Mod duration, two pieces. 60% mod duration, 3 pieces, 100% mod duration. So if it lasts for 10 seconds, it will last for 20 seconds with this outfit. Which is more power than I need, so you really don't need that. So with all 3 pieces, that thing lasts 20 seconds. Let me test that. Sprinting, sprinting for one second, evading, sliding as a stack of inertia. Inertia increases range and melee damage. Max five stacks last ten seconds. Increases stamina regen by fifteen seconds. 3% damage per stack if I equip two pieces. But armor 23, armor 25. It's heavier, but good boost to my level. Uh, defense is still below. Got already. 
So wait. He gave me a key card to Ward 13, didn't he? Where's that up? I go back to Ward 13. If I go back to War 13 and use the key card, I can unlock his secrets. Rest in rest at checkpoint. Okay. All player responds. Any form of nine line. All players will be using the checkpoint in order to rest. What if they died? spot on the end that's right okay swing to it. Oh. Hey there, oh, friend. I'm sorry. We weren't properly introduced before. Name's Reginald Malone. But you can just call me Reggie. If you're looking for a fix to what ails you, I'm your guy. More if you just want to swap stories, I'm good for that too. I bet you got your share. Not really. Mostly running and looting. Oh. Don't sell it short, Fred. Best stories are in the details. Man, it's good to see a new face again. Folks around here are getting grim these days. Well, Not easy keeping yourself times. together day to day with the monsters all around us. Yeah, give a kind word where you can and the world ain't all bleak. But hey, <laughs> you found us a way out, didn't you? You're the hero of the war today, friend. Keep spreading the hope. Right. Um, feel well. Take care, friend. Now, hold there. Man, we did some good down at the reactor. Spirits are way up. Told them I couldn't have done it alone. And that's true. I'm only sorry we didn't find less. Guess my lucky coin couldn't keep him safe. We're both gone now. Got to move on. But hey, if you find good scrounge out in the world, bring it by, yeah? I'll deal your fare. That's great. Some merchants sell consumables, which are useful for current status effects. Or stock number on that one. Okay, she sells. Oh, oh. Are you rocks? Take care then. Hey, traveler. No, I just want to pick up these things. How's it going? Oh. Uh, hello. Come on. How's it going? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think you will actually say scrap when. Yeah, Ooh. That was turned into there. something very awkward. Okay, so. Uh, control level? War 13, B2. B1. B2. Elevator. 
azért is se. levels up and receive a single trade point which can be used to boost the level of any one of the available traits. Traits are hidden throughout the game and tied to unlocking secrets to complete in certain quests. Huh. Okay. So I have one trade points. Mod power generation. Or mod power generation. Yeah, the faster I can generate this, the faster I can use it. I'm gonna level this up to 10. Then... Stamina? Stamina is really an up? Okay, we'll see. If it is. Ah, uh, you thought I would've missed you, huh? Oh. I hit any key. Electronic mail. Security protocol. Due to recent events, we will be amending our security protocol to require an additional photo ID check upon entry of to War 13. Entry will still require the use of personal security cards. However, additional ID will be to perform will be performed upon entry to the ward. All security officers I've been notified of this change, and the new protocol will take effect immediately. Very system diagnostic. Yeah. It's taken us months, but we have finally reconnected the dreamer to Gabriel's world. Subject 2419-1 is online, Gabriel's world. The new bounded entry is vastly different from the previous one. Visual recordings are dead, but audio is greatly enhanced, so, so much so that our equipment can accurately record all of it. Our new guardian is belligerent towards the inhabitants, malicious even. I suspect it shares memories with the previous garden, consciously or not. It knows that the fuzzies did and it knows what the fuzzies did and treats them accordingly. Fascinating. So, Rika taking us months but we finally reconnected to the dream reconnected a dreamer to Gabriel's world. So this is... Oh. Uh, finally reconnected dreamer to Gabriel's world. Okay. Physical expedition. Sounds like the higher-ups are planning an honest-to-god physical Expedition to one of the world, to one of the worlds. Commandant Neville has requested all operation managers to submit recommendations. Given that things we've seen since beginning Cessa online, the uh, guardians, the rude creatures, the massacres. I think it's obvious what our stance has to be. Going gun blazing. June twentieth. Cessa's 
that man is going bonkers. He keeps resetting itself to the specific set of parameters, not just to dreaming harness, but to the recording equipment that not giving me the life support. The effect seems to be coming from sensor itself, but none of them understands how is this possible. Per procedure, we tried to sedate and reboot sensors, but that has proven impossible. The system ignores our commands for sedation. Reg tried physically administering the drug, of course, but the system they applied a reversal agent. I'm concerned if we try to overpower the system, it will end up killing the dreamer. On the other hand, that might be our only option for this feedback. So, Sessas is a dreamer, and the system is controlling her, making her do stuff like reset the world and go into life support mode and stuff like that and even Reggie was one of the officers that was trying to sedate her and it didn't work because the system administered a uh, counter agent so is Thessa the person who's gaining access to uh, to come on how do I go back Loop doesn't resolve itself. We we'll continue to be observant for now about what happened to Gabriel and Clementine. I'm worried. They're everywhere. The root, the root creatures and senses world. They're prepared. How could we be? They attack so quickly. Reg, Reg, Reg is dead. No. So many are dead. We lost contact with the wards 16 and 17. This is ward 13. Uh, many others. Those of us still alive have locked ourselves successfully in this room for now. But it won't be long before we're discovered. What in the hell is happening? Dreamers. We're after the dreamers. They killed all but Cecil already and Nick. Just a matter of time, except they're pounding on our door. They must know that we're here, and they're after the dreamers. Why would they leave us alone unless, oh god, Cessna, she's the gate. That's what I have to do, then. They don't have any other choice. If we leave this room, they'll slaughter us. And if I'm wrong, well, one more dead dreamer won't matter. If we're all dead so they're attacking trying to gain access to the room with the dreamers so they lock themselves in the room with the dreamers and they're considering killing the dreamer that's what the monsters are after did I just read yeah I just read that one Abandoned. It's done. The system fought us at every turn, and then the root creatures began pounding on the door as though they knew what we were trying to do. But it's over. She's dead. Cessna's dead. And the roots are still out there. We're preparing to make one final run for it. I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll die if we stay here. Our scar dreamer was in a feedback loop too. We have to tell them if I was right about her being gay, then electronic mail, draft, dear Reg, you know how you know how you are dying to learn what the government's been doing since I moved out of War 13. There's so much to tell, I don't know where to start. The red crystals aren't anything we thought, Reg. They're not power sources at all. They're conduits through space itself. I know, I would have, would not believe that either. Wait until you see what they're doing. They're connecting test subject dreamers, they call them, to some kind of guardian entities in other worlds. I don't mean other planet, I mean parallel worlds, side by side with Earth. Like completely inaccessibly part, apart from the crystal, 
Ford and Hasgard, you remember the Captain Ford? He was the recruitment official who visited us at the university. university. Have a few dreamers on the toll offshore and their primary reports sound like fairy tales, fawns, goblins, even magic. Of course, it can't actually be magic, but certainly feels like it's based on our current understanding of physics. Can't actually be that, but it certainly feels like it's based on our current understanding of physics. It's hard to explain without being able to show you, Reg, but they won't let that happen until your transfer goes through. I don't even know if they'll allow this letter out, to be honest. It's fine. I'll show everything in person when you arrive. Our ward already has two dreamers connected. I'm supervising Activision of the third in a few days, Gabriel. But Gabriel World is the one that connected. Uh, they call him Gabriel they call him though I get the feeling that it's not his real name I can't wait to see what he sees and start an investigation one of these worlds for myself we're on the verge of something amazing Reg there's so much to this universe that anyone even thought Einstein thought even Einstein what wonders might be out there just lying in wait for discovery see you soon Linda. Reports. Subject. 2419 1. Finance. The Linda Mark. Operation Research and Assets Management Walk 30. Astra Commandant Neville had asked for recommendation. Route could be chosen for our first physical expedition. Subject. 2419 1 is a second dreamer bound to the so called. Fuzzy's world. So this is a world with Fuzzy. So Gabriel was supposed to be the first one and now this guy. But this was Sessa who did this. There's a second dream abandoned to Soko Fuzzy's world. But the world has changed drastically since the loss of the previous dreamer. Which a new guard with a new guardian entity, a new invading species, and a widespread alterations to the world and the inhabitants. It's it fair to say it's no longer the Fuzzies world and it's highly dangerous. It's my recommendation that we do not send a physical X to the world at this time. Subject 2419, Gabriel Sess. Gabriel. Cessna, Dreamer, Fuzzies, Root Creatures. So Gabriel was the first person to enter, to discover the Fuzzies world. And Cessna was the second person. So Cessna is the dash one. Background, last year's subject 2419, known as Gabriel, died in the Dreamer's sphere when his guardian entity was killed. So if the guardian is killed, the Dreamer is killed. By the inhabitants of his world, informally known as the Fuzzies. So the Fuzzies was the one that killed them. Okay. The Fuzzies were intelligent and warlike. Yet they were caring towards each other. We still don't know why they turned on their guardian. In February of this year, we were finally successful in connecting to the second connecting a second dreamer to the subject when okay. We were finally successful in connecting a second dreamer when subject 2419-1 Cessna, herein referred to as Cessa, bounded to what appears to be a new guardian of the same world. We have been feverishly gathering data ever since. Preliminary findings, Cessna's world is almost completely unrecognizable from before. Gabriel observed what appeared to be a massive living organism populated by small furry covered creatures called fuzzies. Cessna, however, sees the world covered in a root-like growth with little of the original landscape visible underneath it. Fuzzies are rarely seen at all, at least not alive. The world is now populated by a new violent species 
of creature. It is unclear where this new species came from. We saw no evidence of them in Gabriel's recording, but we have eliminated a large percentage of the former population in a very short time. The new species appear to be plant-based, bearing a resemblance to motel trees and roots. These creatures are violent and destructive, actually hunting the fuzzies, slaughtering them and leaving the bodies behind while they hunt more. We believe that there may still be fuzzies alive than in hiding, but given the ferocity of the root species, are likely they would remain so very long. Conclusion and recommendation, I believe the fuzzies will not survive without some kind of intervention. However, I cannot recommend that human scouting parties visit Sesame World at this time. It is likely the root species will treat them the same as the fuzzies, and given the speed and ferocity of which they fight, a lone scouting party will not stand a chance, even with modern weapons. For now, I believe it's best that we continue observation and learn what we can about the new species before entering them. So there's a diamond stick. Wow. Okay. So, quick recap. Gabriel connected to this world. They call the Fuzzy's world because fuzzy creatures lived there. So Gabriel connected to the Guardian, but the Fuzzies killed the Guardian, which in turn killed Gabriel. Now, a second dreamer that it called Sessa was able to access the same world. And this dreamer says that the world is completely different. Looks different because of <coughs> someone else who took it called the root. where the dreamers were. Log. No signal. Subject 249 is online. Vitals are stable, but we're receiving no visual information or audio consists says only of a low persistent rumble. It is spread by seemingly random series of clicks. Attempt find a pattern in a clicks so far been fruitless outcome. Nothing more than a signal noise, perhaps error in the recordings, human amplified by the dreamer's subconscious. Or perhaps there's a thing, no signal at all. We've never tested what happens when a dreamer connects with nothing. Most likely Dr. Oxgard read the ruin wrong, waiting confirmation. Signal ward 16 reply. Oxgard claimed that he's not wrong with subjects we continue monitoring. I'll do so if we only as a, 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 a
flying. Looks like we're stuck here for a while. No from private waters. I heard a change in the audio last night. For about 20 minutes starting at 2.11 I heard some kind of singing. That's the only way I could think to describe it. It was on top of the regular rumble and clicks. I left the tape in your office for a review. Also, I advise that I may have seen an annoying anomaly in the video as well. A brief, faint pulse of lights during the time of the audio anomaly. It may just have been an artifact on the screen, though in my imagination, very it was very late after all. Light show. Hey, we all have got ten bucks. For about two hours on April, subject 2409, visual lit up like a goddamn 4th of July, dozen of lights pulse on it, on and off, while no pattern we have yet discerned, colors vary and remain mostly between blue and yellow wavelength, after approximately 145 minutes the pulse began to decrease in frequency, and by T160. E plus 160 they have ceased entirely. Audio wasn't changed during this time. Finally we have proved the dream is connected to something. House guard is never going to let this drop. Okay, so let's go listen to that audio again. This was the noise he heard. known as Gabriel subject 2419 is online that is coming fast and then we can deal with Gabriel bonded and tiled entity guards a literally living world since uh, living world some kind of massive biological organism that houses the guardian with it the ground is f this flesh the ground is flesh and respawn to stimuli the air is thick with moisture and the breeze shift psychically like breathing. Habitants of this world are equally fascinating. Small furry covered bipeds and do fuzzies for the resemble to creatures from H.P. Piper's novels. They appear to be sentinel. They have no spoken language but they build tools and structures from bone-like growth found throughout their world. The observation are preliminary and they are also exciting. A new species, first contact, relevation, we, might we uncover. Fuzzies, sister of the fuzzies have been acting strange at first, some kind of god worship or relationship with Gabriel entity. But we've recently seen signs of fear and distress. If you even threw rocks at their guardians, could Gabriel Bond have somehow caused this? We've been very careful to observe only not to interfere, but maybe the fuzzies detect some subtle change that will let them predict too subtle for us to notice yet strong enough to cause a violent reaction. This seemed impossible. The majority of the team's concern affect the experiment. One team member is worried Gabe. Worry Gabriel himself might be in danger. Though I have seen no evidence of that, Gabriel vitals have been unaffected by the random attacks, and the more valid concern is the way the very act of observing is affecting what we observe. The way this may be valid, but it's not reason enough to wake the dreamer. Not yet. Uprising. 
Gabriel was attacked today, or rather the Guardian was. We will climb it. We will comb in our records for any signs of provocation on our part, but so far we found nothing. Gabriel's been completely passive, allowing the Guardian to act independently. Most likely, whenever whatever's happening predates Gabriel Bond. There have been more calls from the team to wake Gabriel, still in minority, but it's true that his heart rate rose briefly during the attack, and there have been no other signs of attack affecting him in any way. We've ordered observation to continue. We will speed this through termination. Subject has been declared dead on Sunday, April 3rd, 1966. His guardian was killed and his body consequently suffered a cardiac arrest. We lost input immediately. Needless to say, my team was devastating and yet the presence exciting me. And yet this presents exciting new information. This is the first time a dream has died in a chair. Tragic. Though Gabriel's death is, it proves the bond between the Dream and the Guardian is even stronger than we know. Research on the fuzzies will have been put on hold for now. Our previous observation and these long entries will be transferred to another room to study while Gabriel appears prepared for next dreamer. I know we'll be back. So, and so much to learn what happened to the world. Guardians. Also, since the fuzzies attacked their guardian and killed their guardian and killed Gabriel. But their reaction to it is just basically empty him out and put in a new dreamer. And they are basically saying that there there was no forewarning that anything was affecting Gabriel other than a high, you know, spike in his heart rate for a second and then after that should have been fine. But when the guardian died, Gabriel died of a heart attack. No need that. So, no, Gabriel died in 1966. So who's this guy? This couldn't have been here since 1966. He would have been a skeleton. Then there's this. Ha! See if there's a big wall or anything behind this. Lock. AC. In this room, please keep the air conditioner on at all times. The dream man entirely lives in a frozen world. Entity lives in a frozen world in some place colder than any recorded measure on earth and it seems to reflect aspect of that bond in particular she shows physical sign of discomfort at any temperature above 55 degrees those working in the area are encouraged to wear layers so because she's in a cold environment anything above 55 degrees she is showing discomfort so they have to keep the room cool to match the world that she's in who is this person? Is this Tessa? The gar uh, the guardian came across a clutch of orphans. Orphan polars. Apparently they have been lost in a blizzard, but the effects on Clementine had was unexpected. Her Norandian line levels dropped and her body low signs of lacrimation. Most of the team believe the guardian, the dreamer, are both or both are sad at the the discovery, but we should have record no records of guardian ever having any illicit emotions. If only we could record emotional states somehow. It's unfortunate that we can't speak to the dreamer without waking them, and that we can't wake them without risking loss of the bond. So this is another dreamer, Clementine. 
she's connected to an ice world. New procedures. FYI, our commander Nashville ordered we have sedated Clementine until her levels return back to normal. I guess this is now standard operating procedures whenever a dream exhibit any potentially unstable behavior. I suspect the source of the edit is Captain Ford. After what happened with Gabriel and with Hesgard about about to connect a new dreamer to this Clobone entity. I'm guessing Ford doesn't want any more necessary risks. He's probably right. Oh yeah. Janitor. Could someone please tell the janitor to leave the AC alone? This is the third time we had to reboot Clementine this month. Last frame. Rather, I think she shifted somehow and she still exists somehow along with everything else, including the poor janitor, unfortunately. As to why, I can only conjecture reviewing Clementine's final tape shows, blah 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 and the very last frame in one dark corner. You can see uh, this was Clobo. Always describe his unknown entity as fantastic terms, but what if he wasn't exaggerating? We know he brought his dream online at approximately the same time Clementine disappeared after all. This one's confusing. Clementine disappeared. Well, that was a lot of information thrown at, at us. Oh, oh. I got a fuse. Let's go down further and see if we can use the fuse. Just to view on that platform. Terminal control. Terminal control. This platform to view whatever that was. See the point of this. Mind you, we haven't even gotten to the game yet. This is just. 
daytime conference room with a bunch of phones. Cables plugged into it. This is some sort of entryway controlled by the computer. Lock. Hmm. Key card won't work. Ah. Being a technician myself, lockout tagout procedures require me to pull the fuse. Hmm. Okay, so it was on the other side of this, but what's all of these? Or 13 master key. Computer terminal, but that door that was locked. Ah, a lot of that before. Uh, turn the fan down. It might need it for the elevator to work as well. Tracing. Uh, key was at the end of the hallway. Explosion in the research knocked out the circuit breaker in the north wing. The ward is running on backup power. Backup power, but the repair crew have been dispatched. Patients remain stable, no major incidents. Main power is restored, but the security cameras are offline. I sent Smith to check out the cabling, and he reported that the lines are frayed. I filed a service ticket with maintenance. Hard to see this. The incident with patient 
29, 23 Clementine last night. She was agitated and she was having a bad dream and the doctors and nurses were scared. Some thing about PSK levels being way off the graph and to three or at least to pin her down. Can't say for sure, but I think for a micro go fly off the table and hit one of the orderly square in the back of the head. No one threw it. Damn thing just shut off the table. The orderly in the med lab. The med lab, 27 stitches. It could have been worse. Much worse. Streamer 2923 was at it again and this evening started around midnight. Patient was moaning and crying in her sleep. She wasn't long before the crying turned into screaming and the medical crew rushed in the room. The orderlies could barely keep her down. Never seen anything like it. How does a 16 year old child have enough strength to take three full grown men? Doctors were yelling at the nurse to sedate her but the tranquilizer didn't take effect soon enough. Never seen Spartans, huh? They finally managed to strap on the restraints and the patient trashed her out so much that she broke the right, her right forearm, broke her down arm against the straps. So, in these offices, they were observing the patients. Uh. Oh, okay. That is this. I go into this room. Okay, Gabriel Fuzzies. Yeah. I don't think that's Gabriel. I think that's the next patient that sat in his seat. Sessa. That's Sessa. No. I'm not sure. Because this room they talk about. Not this room. The first room they talk about Sessa in here. Oh well. Ha! Huh. Finally. The next thing I need to find is that big key to unlock that gate or something. Alright. We dabbled enough. Time to get the game going. How's it going? Let's train. I think how much. Till next room? time. Do I have enough to upgrade? Keep moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you need? Yes. Can you? Ah, uh, let's see own. what I've got. Push the armor. Space to upgrade. Uh, what about Drifters? So long. Good to see you again. Yeah. Certainly. Do you sell? Something dead. Weapon upgrade. Buy items. Ah. Wait, six hundred for that and fifty for the sword. Damage is fifty-five. What is my weapon's damage currently? Five. Double that. It doesn't have Take damage. care, my friend. Well, I'm gonna use my pistol for that. Keep moving. Gotta use them if they get close. All right. Let's go get some gameplay, shall we? 
Because at this point, the game actually begins. So, this connects me to one of the worlds, or is this our world? I think this is our world. Right? Dreamers. Uh, how we access the other worlds through dreamers on that gate we saw. So a dreamer opens up a world through that gate thing. That's how they send physical teams in. So this got to be our world overturned by. The room. Yep. <laughs> Twenty-seven shot. came out here and y'all started attacking me for no damn reason. Okay. Find as much loot as possible. <laughs> Here's the thing about this game that it, the game does not tell you. And by the time you realize it, it's too late. Ah. There's no way to power up in this <gasps> game and become overpowered and think it would last long. That's ah. basic comment text. I know that. Alright, so basically what I'm saying is when you level up for whatever level you're in, take for example right now this icon is showing me that I am the right level for this area that I'm at. If it's uh, red down arrow, it means I'm under level. When it's a diamond, it means perfect level. When there's a green up arrow, it means I'm over leveled. Problem is after you cleared this zone, it does a check. The game checks your level and adjusts the enemies to match your level. So if you spend a lot of points to build up your level, to so say let's take on a boss or something, right? So you're overly leveled. Thinking that you're gonna be strong and carry over to the next mission, well prepared, think again because the game is gonna check your level, see that oh, you're like two levels above what we expect this level person at this level should be. So, we're going to make the enemies match your level. So, you're gonna start off the level, the next level. At the same strength as if you did not level up. That sounds awful, doesn't it? He 
Let's game out and keep this before. Aiming with a mouse and keyboard and getting headshots is the key to surviving this game. Playing this game with a controller and having to line up headshots and stuff, the enemy is going to waste you. Even if you do manage to line up headshots, they would have attacked you and you were forced to dodge. Did I get him? Yes. Right, which would make you lose your aim anyway. So, see, this is an example of how the root thing is taking over our world. Did I upgrade that shutdown? Because we didn't try. I'm going to be switching my main weapon. I prefer the sniper rifle. This uh, gun, even though this gun is does twice as much damage, but it only contains two rounds, which is a problem for me. And, uh, besides that, I kind of like the whole sniping. <coughs> Looking to see if there's any stairs that will take me upstairs. Can't find any. Good find. And uh, this is the, the looter shooter part of it. Okay, so I can't find any stairs to take me up. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> That's how we look. But again, you can't over level up because that's kind of productive. The game is running smooth too. Uh, let's see what I. I am currently running 60 frames and my GPU is only at 70% so I can probably get about 100 frames without PC. <laughs>
I did see that my bandages is three. I don't think there's a penalty for dying. Other than you get kicked back out to the last check. I want to know that I love you and I'm sorry for so many things. I'll fix it. I know that. And time for me to go. Take, take me a while for saying. Took me a while from saying the thing. Uh, but saying. From saying to doing. But here I am. I'm leaving to speak with the root mother. The old church past the subway tunnel. She will show me the path away from the world. And I'll be gone. Goodbye. Okay, so, health is one, bandages is three. Downside to having Here they come. super ultra wide monitor and stuff like that. So, I don't have to be picky and choosy. Okay, that's a nice. does not pause. So it's uh <laughs> always alive. Okay. Uh, let me take this off as a block in the mat. Can't go this way the last time. What's down here?
I see them, but I don't think they've seen me yet. Uh, I'll take care of that first. Just remembered I have some tray points. Takes two hits to kill them. I'm fine with that. Oh, now we'll do a speed to add your traits. Current level experience. Oh no, that's too much. Um, I heard something. Too squishy right now. Okay. Here's where I was before I kicked the bucket to those. <laughs> the other side, of course. If you die in this game, don't sweat it because you don't lose anything, you don't lose your money or whatever. That's not the mod, that's just the way the game is. Now, I mean that I learned my lesson from the last time. Hello! Again, it's not the end of the world. Now, which way do I go? Do I go that way or do I go that way? I do want my sh my sniper rifle. First dungeon. Dungeons are fun. Big close quarters, but take your time. You can get through it easy peasy. 
I'm warning you. What? Best step away, stranger. Unless you want a bullet through <coughs> through your. <coughs> oh hell! <coughs> Fuck the <coughs> right as rain. <coughs> Just <coughs> afflicted with life in this hellhole is all. Not much longer though. <coughs> Sounds so good. Mm. Suppose there is something I can do. Here. <coughs> Take my key. Don't mind leaving my <coughs> effects behind if a good soul picks them up. Mind your feet, though. <coughs> Traps. Traps everywhere. <coughs> now get on. <coughs> you got more road than me. <coughs> What does I into the safe house? What did she just give me? Remember the traps. <coughs> uh, did she just give me? What thirteen? Hunter ski. Ordinary key worn look really by a hunter. Okay, but red. Resources to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, tougher enemies have more health. Greater weapons will increase the damage output. Tougher enemies hit harder. Armor takes you makes you more resistant to damage for longer your life. Did it raise more through to upgrade your armor? Wait, compared to this level, what level am I? I am right where I need to be. I will probably upgrade the armor once and my weapons once. That's about it. Okay. So I actually enjoy this game. The shooting is great, the enemies are great, there's a variation in them. But this game can be uh, painful. That's why I'm hoping that that mod helps me a bit. Oh, Traveler. Hmm. I'd like to see your wares. Certainly. Okay, so. Weapon. Okay. First thing first, I need to buy this. I prefer this weapon. Um. Right, now, this one. Damage is 52. Mine is damage is 60. I actually prefer swords than I do. You know, it's just a thing of mine. I prefer swords to axe any day. Alright, so. Doesn't look like I can do any upgrade to armor. Oh, because I don't have any moolah. What if I sell? You can't sell. Can I craft anything? Nope, only deal fees. I can buy, but I can't sell. Interesting. Take care, my friend. I want to change that to this. 
Yes, I know this does more damage, but this only gives you uh accuracy is down. It gives you short range of 10 meters while this one gives you 25 meters mm. this one max ammo is 50 that you can carry this one is 30 critical hit chance is 5% this one is 10% I prefer this weapon I don't have any mods to put on it but as far as these to go this is the better weapon but I personally prefer swords over uh, axis critical is five critical on this is ten so see I like this better I guess I go back. Hello? Last year. Okay. So, this seemed to be a good spot. She died. Well, this seems to be a good spot to take a break. While I'm sitting here, I'm safe. So, um, we'll be back with this. Hope you're enjoying it. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you soon. Right? Bye bye.